Today in the House, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been demanding an audit, but to no avail so far. And that means the tens of billions of your tax dollars the Biden administration has shoveled to the government of Ukraine remain, as of tonight, completely unaccounted for. We don't know what happened to the money. And still the Ukrainians are demanding more and trying to get us into a world war that would benefit us in no way. Are Republicans supporting this? Could any Republican possibly support this? More money for Ukraine with no audit? Any Republican who does deserves, at the very least, a lifetime of scorn. One who doesn't is Thomas Massey, who represents the Commonwealth of Kentucky in the Congress. He joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. So it seems pretty clear that this story was planted by the U.S. intel agencies and on the AP wire to convince you in the Congress to send another tranche of $37 billion to the government of Ukraine. That feels like manipulation by our intel agencies to me. Yeah, and if I may respond to one other thing in your monologue there, uh, there's a myth about the NATO treaty that Article 5 is somehow short-circuiting co Congress's responsibility to decide when and if we go to war. Article 11, which almost nobody has read, says that all of the member states have to carry out the other articles in uh, compliance with their own constitutions. Our constitution requires not just the Senate to confirm a treaty, but for the House and the Senate both to agree to commit an act of war or to commit our soldiers to war. So that, yeah. you know, if any of my, if any of my colleagues here in, this, in the House or the Senate are listening, please go read the rest of the NATO treaty. Uh, as far as the money, Tucker, they're doing something very despicable here with these last tranches of money. We had a clear cut vote on about $40 billion and we had 57 Republicans, those are your true conservatives, who voted against that $40 billion. But recently, the last tranche, they tied it to hurricane relief in Florida. So think about this. If you wanted to help hurricane victims in Florida with your vote in Washington, D.C., you had to increase the chance that we had, would have victims of nuclear war. It's despicable and it's wrong, and they're going to try and do that with the next tranche of money. They're going to tie it to more disaster relief and other government funding. This is so obviously a scam. I mean, it's an ideological jihad. It's a holy war being waged by some on the left against Russia for their own creepy ideological reasons, but it's also a money-making opportunity for war profiteers, including one prominent Democrat who's trying to do an arms deal in Ukraine right now. We'll tell you about that tomorrow. But I don't understand how Congress can appropriate a single more dollar without an audit that tells us what happened to the other tens of billions you've already sent. That's right. We should absolutely refuse to sing a, send another single penny there until we get an audit and an inspector general. Senator Rand Paul tried to make this stand in the Senate, only got 11 of his colleagues there to agree that we need an inspector general. Look, in Afghanistan, we were spending about $50 billion a year. We're spending on course to spend about twice of that in Ukraine. And we had an inspector general in Afghanistan. We absolutely need one here. We found all sorts of waste, fraud, and abuse from Inspector General uh, John Sopko. So we need one here in, in the Ukraine immediately. And we shouldn't be sending any more money. And there's one other thing we should demand. You know, the, the guy that you quoted there said, we'll do it for as long as it takes. The thing we never had in Afghanistan and we don't have in Ukraine is what is your definition of victory? Are you going to retake oh, Crimea? What's your definition of victory? The American voters deserve to know. Well, re regime change in Moscow, of course, is, is the goal of this. Yeah. So Republicans now officially, as of uh, an hour ago, control the House of Representatives. Republican control of one chamber of the Congress. Can you stop this? We can absolutely stop this. Now, it might, unfortunately, the Democrats are going to pass a spending bill here in the lame duck, and some senators are probably going to go along with that, and the Senate, Republicans, unfortunately, which will tie our spending hands until September 30th of 2023. But there's going to be two types of bills. For your viewers, I want them to know this. There's going to be two types of bills that pass the Republican Congress. Imaginary pretend messaging bills that are going to be full of great policy. We're going nowhere in the Senate. The second type of bill is spending bills. And on these spending bills, we need to demand that we defund these things. All of the executive orders need to be defunded. And we certainly shouldn't be sending another penny to Ukraine. It's, it's just crazy how many Republicans got hoodwinked by this scam. It really is the foreign policy version of BLM, and they're still going along with it, and it's, it blows my mind. I appreciate your clarity. Congressman Thomas Massey of Kentucky, thank you. Thank you, Tucker.